It was just after 4 o'clock Sunday morning. Uh, a vehicle collided with a barricade on East Capitol Street at 2nd Street. Sunday afternoon, police identified the driver as Richard A. York III, a 29-year-old from Delaware. Capitol Police say after crashing into the barricade, he apparently got out and set the car on fire before shooting his handgun into the air several times. One of our officers observed him put the gun to, to his head and uh, shoot himself. Chief Tom Manger says no one else was hurt and none of the responding officers used their weapons. We reviewed York's record, which includes charges for drugs, assault, burglary, and making terroristic threats in the state of Pennsylvania. Still, police say there's no immediate connection to the U.S. Capitol. We've had no contact with him, um, but we're working with the FBI and other state and local agencies. We're told according to security footage of the incident and officers on scene, the man wasn't wearing anything and didn't say anything to indicate why why he did what he did before ending his own life. We're doing a, a scrub of social media and um, certainly running through uh, all the databases that we have. And finding out the why is especially important considering when this happened. The FBI is reporting a high number of threats facing the agency following the raid on former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home last week. The investigation into the January 6th attack on the Capitol is ongoing. And in another instance of a car ramming a Capitol barricade last spring, Capitol Officer Billy Evans was killed. Police say it doesn't appear anyone in Congress was a target as they're currently in recess. Chief Manger says the officers working on the Hill are and will remain extra vigilant. I think like law enforcement nationwide, um, we are on a higher alert. That was one of the reasons I think that we were able to respond um, as quickly as we did. From Capitol Hill, Abby Larico, WUSA 9.